What is up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Holy Moly Outdoors. Thank you so much for joining us on this special episode because we're getting back into some of my favorite time of the year, and that is fall salmon. We got kings, we got silvers. It's all starting to happen in Puget Sound, and what a perfect time to have this video come out because it's a huge thank you as well to this company. Um, Buzz Bomb Tackle had reached out after I did a couple videos for them last year and sent a little care package. So this video is to kind of showcase an unboxing of what um, some of their great products are, as well as a little thank you shout out and stick around because I'm gonna show you guys how to rig one of these up. Stay tuned. All right, so like I said, little unboxing thank you to this great company. I've been using Buzz Bombs truly since I was a kid, maybe five, six years old, fishing off the beach for pink salmon and coho. So what more fitting to be at this point in life, now 30 years later, and really getting to showcase something that stayed true to the test of time and caught so many fish here in the Northwest. So there was a very neat letter that they sent. So thank you guys for the heartfelt words. I really appreciate that. Um, it was really sweet. A really cool hat. This is now going to be fished a lot this year, especially off the beach here coming up. As well as a super cool shirt like that. So, wait a sec. Boom! I like that. Super comfy too. So, very much so. Thank you. But what I really want to showcase you: these clothing, hat, shirt, really cool. But it's what's in this box. One of the staples that the Buzz Bomb is known for is not just the Buzz Bomb, right? The Buzz Bomb is your diamond shaped jig we all are very familiar with but the zinger is a really cool one as well it's very similar to a buzz bomb and how it functions but the zinger is more of a minnow shaped body so and i'll zoom in on some of these and get some close-ups but that's kind of what it is so really cool let's see what else we got in here a lot some of the larger sizes right some killer colors Again, larger size, skinnier version. That's a four inch. The tried and true, if I had to pick any size here in the Northwest for a beach fisherman or off a boat, is the two and a half inch. This green glow is really good for silvers. Obviously pinks and whites work really well for pinks. There's even the micro new size, the one inch and one and a half inch in here these are going to be so fun for kokanee it's now middle of summer but in the fall when things cool down they get closer to spawning we're going to be jigging some of these babies up as well as some big trout there's also something called the spino another cool one that they offer it is a zinger on a wire so it stays and it just you can fish it like a jig as everything else does but it gives you something else presentation wise. Heck, you got them in the giant sizes for your lingcod, your halibut, and your salmon. Super excited to try some of those out, especially off the local piers here for Big Kings. But yeah, I mean, a lot of super cool stuff. I'll get some, some close ups of some of the colors some really cool decals that we'll throw up. Here's a two inch buzz bomb. But again, I, I really can't say thank you enough to this company. There's one of the extra heavy three inch. I've been using these and will continue to use them for as long as I can. And I really want you guys to understand that 
that product is so versatile, right? We're obviously in our new boat. I have rods rigged up for buzz bombs as we go to see silvers and chase after that. But a buzz bomb can be used from the shore for you bank guys. You can catch fish no matter where you go. Heck, I, I wanted to bring this rod out to show because I was using one of those three inch extra heavy size as my weight. And this is obviously a two rig, but we were using this for flounder. And I kid you not, this doesn't even touch the bottom and you got fish on. Because as this falls, it flutters, it spins, it creates a lot of vibration and action. It's a fish catching machine. And this is by far probably the most effective flounder rig I've ever put together. And I think a lot of that is because you have basically an extra rig on the bottom for fish attraction. It's not just a lead weight. I have a swivel on the end. If I chose to, in the right regulations, I could put a sidewash hook on that and effectively be fishing for whatever bites. If I was in lingcod season, maybe that's something I could use to target rockfish and lingcod, go to the coast, whatever it may be. But I just wanted to show you that as a option that you can do. It's free sliding up to the knot, so it has some room to play. Super, super effective. I mean, picture shows right here, we brought home over 20 flounder for my kids the other day. Just had a blast out here testing out in the boat. So if I had to pick my one versatile rod, you guys will hear this said a lot throughout the channel, but it's got to be one of these velocity spinning rods. These are the Salmon Extreme Series spinning rods. It's an 8.6. It's got a, a 12 to 20 line rating. And I've used it for everything. You guys have seen float fishing videos. You guys have seen me using it for Cassin's Wickeds and other spinners and stuff. Twitching jigs. You can really do everything with it. And the reason why it's so versatile is just it's a great rod. You don't have to have a velocity, but the reason why I bring this out is because if I'm off the shore or I'm in a boat here, this is what I'm throwing, right? I got 12 to 15 pound test mono. Uh, it's a perfect setup for casting a buzz bomb. And we're gonna show you how to quickly rig this up and make it super simple and easy. So like I said, buzz bombs are so versatile right you got just a couple components makes it super simple you can rig out of the package right there straight on the main line tie on your hook and you're fishing but for me i like to make my rigs a little bit more interchangeable as well as helping with any potential line twist because to be honest with the amount of spinning that those buzz bombs do create, it's good, but you can run into some line twists. So my solution is super simple as well. You just add a little tiny bearing swivel like you said, see there, okay? Tie on, I got a foot tag, foot and a half tag a liter. Now we're gonna rig this right here to show you. So we got, as I told you, one of my favorite coho colors it's glow in the dark it's a green stripe and this is what i'll do so what's cool if you can see this here on the buzz bomb there's instructions you got a fatter end up front skinnier tapered end in the bottom it does have an arrow saying hook pointing that way so what i do Is you thread it up okay there is the top part of that boom now it comes with these really cool little rubber stops it's a bumper for your knot you will thread that on they also make separately if you like to fish single hooks you can run that with a little spacer now package comes with the treble hook Washington State cannot use treble hooks in the salt water, so this will get changed to a siwash hook. But for the purposes of showing you, and tie our ward knot 
triple loop. Cinch it down. And that is your buzz bomb rig. Very simple. Now, there's a couple variations you can do in some of my other videos. I'll showcase that where you can add a swivel at the bottom and you can uh, put a sidewash hook onto that, thread a hoochie skirt. There's a lot of different things you can do which adds to that versatility. But for simplicity of the basic rig that'll catch a ton of fish, there it is right there. The reason why on top of saving line twist by putting a swivel here is to also have a quick change. I like to, on my main rod line, put a dual lock and a bead. The bead goes above the dual lock and allows for me not to reel it into my guides. But the dual lock, I can quick change out my buzz bomb colors. Like let's say we're fishing this guy here. It's not doing any good, but I wanna turn and change over to a zinger, right? You got a couple different color options on those right in front of us right there. You can totally rig a similar setup like that and you have these all ready to fish. So I like to put together leader setups and keep them in small little um, divider baggies and I have my rigs pre-tied ahead of time all ready to fish and that'll be a difference maker for you whether you break a fish off or you have to get another color tied on and you don't have to be losing out on valuable fishing time. So that is a quick, simple setup rig that I love to fish for buzz bombs, whether off the shore or in my boat, that is deadly. Alrighty, so a huge thank you again to the Buzz Bomb Tackle Company. They're based out of Canada, but their presence is really known throughout the whole United States and probably the whole world, to be honest. So get yourself your favorite salmon set up, get a couple of these Buzz Bombs, and you're gonna have a lot of fun this fall salmon season. August 1st is coming right up, which means we are on the front end side of some good fishing ahead whether you're a beach fisherman or somebody out of a boat it is now game time to start thinking the middle of august is typically when it really gets good for you beach guys and the salmon coming into the sound for the guys with boats thank you again for watching this so much if you want to see exactly how to fish these out on the water check out the video right playing above thanks again Tight lines as always, we'll catch you on the water. Fish on!